you think of planes that can perform incredible maneuvers, you probably think of thrust vectoring F-22s, and flankers that can do... whatever this is. Now what about ground attackers? You're probably imagining slow-flying, low-powered aircraft that never even think about aerobatics. At least not very interesting kinds. However, some of these attackers do have qualities that make them good aerial combat fighters. There are strike aircraft that can have good acceleration, speed, or turn rate. Fighting aircraft, you can actually do relatively well in stuff like the Harrier GR7, SK-60, or if you're skilled enough, stuff like this. Now if you have the A7 or otherwise know about it, you're most likely aware that almost none of these qualities apply to it. Its acceleration is nothing special, and neither is its top speed. It can pull some pretty impressive turns, but I do mean some, because if you have to turn for too long then- oops, there goes all your airspeed. Have fun getting all that back. So the A7 isn't superb for flying air to air. Most of what it can do is about average in every aspect, but it does have one very interesting thing that it can do in terms of aerial maneuvers. To do it, we're gonna need to use a nifty little tool called Full Reel Controls, which lets you do some pretty wacky stuff. With Full Reel activated, all that's left to do is turn a bit to lose some speed, which shouldn't be hard to do in the A7. Now that you've lost all your speed, pitch up to around 30 or 40 degrees. What you're going to do here is shove the stick forward until your nose is level with the horizon, and then yank the stick back to pull up as fast as possible. The A7 is now pointed vertically. Care to guess how much altitude it will gain when I unpause it? If you guessed somewhere in the negatives, you'd be right. But your eyes do not deceive you. The A7 and War Thunder is fully capable of doing the infamous Cobra maneuver. You know, the one some people claim their P-51 is able to do. There are some caveats when it comes to defining the Cobra maneuver though. The most defining feature of the maneuver is the aircraft's angle of attack being brought to 90 degrees or more, and for the performing aircraft to lose a significant amount of speed in the process. The J-35N War Thunder was the first aircraft to be able to do a true Cobra. It can do both those things while also having enough thrust to keep its effective altitude. But both the A7 and J-35 have flaws in how they Cobra. The J-35 has to be above a certain speed level, and also has to be really careful not to overdo it, lest you become unable to resume horizontal flight. The A7, on the other hand, has a fair bit more stability, but not nearly enough thrust to keep itself aloft. So why should you care about the Corsair being able to do a Cobra? Well, truth be told, you probably shouldn't. Unless you like flying aerobatics and goofing around, this isn't really something you would use in a real battle, unless you are either extremely desperate or extremely dense. I thought this would be a fun video topic to make a video about. I always found it incredibly funny how one of the most mundane strike aircraft in War Thunder can do something that today only relatively modern fighters can do. 